Guys, let's talk about behavior-based learning and how that applies to weight loss and health and fitness. Now, usually when people begin their health and fitness journey, you know, they might have an idea of, they might have a goal, you know, they might have a long-term goal, I wanna lose 20 kilos in six months or 12 months or whatever it might be, and they have an idea about what needs to be done. You know, they might be like, okay, I need to do some fitness, I need to join a boot camp, or I need to start eating better or, or follow this nutrition plan. But they don't, very rarely do they get into specific behaviors. And guys, behavior-based learning is the best way for you to ingrain habits so that you keep them long-term. For example, instead of thinking broadly, okay, I'm gonna do my weight training and I'm going to increase my running and I'm going to just eat better. What you need to do is break that down into specific achievable, achievable behaviors and a, a, a certain amount so that it's challenging but not overwhelming. So what I recommend for my clients is generally speaking, over a fortnight, we'll work on two or three specific behaviors. And you wanna start real basic because you wanna ingrain the foundational behaviors first and then start to build on top. So for example, oftentimes I might start with my clients, something along the lines of, okay, so let's, let's do an exercise-based behavior. So I want you to do some form of exercise three times per week. And we might even get more specific. On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I want you to go for a 20-minute walk for the next fortnight. And that's where we start. Now, keeping in mind, we wanna make it achievable and we wanna keep it very basic at first. And then every fortnight, we'll build upon it to the point where down the track, you might be exercising five or six days a week, doing a broad range of weight training, of sport, of whatever it might be. It's very individual to the client. Second, second behavior we might work on might be something nutrition-based. For example, it might be a case that I want you to eat a healthy breakfast every single day for the next two weeks. So once you eat a healthy breakfast every single day for the next two weeks, then you can build on top. You've got the breakfast sorted. You don't need to stress about breakfast anymore. Let's get you eating a certain amount of protein per day or something like that. You see where we're going with this. You want to work on two or three behaviors and work on those behaviors, ingrain those behaviors, and then build upon them. This is a lot more achievable, a lot more realistic, and in the long run, it actually makes you more likely to succeed because A, it's not so overwhelming, you're not changing everything all at once, and B, you're building a sustainable amount of exercise and you're sustainably introducing nutritional behaviors and habits. So guys, behavior-based learning really is the way of the future when it comes to health and fitness and really when it comes to learning anything.